with someone in the trends. Is that a tactical shoelace from Gorgod to do you think? Just give me five minutes ref while I do this lace up. And again off the top by Croft who's made an impact as has the Jersey juggernaut, Banahan. Sadly, he picked out the wrong colour shirt from his point of view. It was Gibby Berish Billy. Backwards. Flood gets away with it. Foden again, always has his eyes open. Always ready to pin back his ears. Here goes Tom Wood. He'll remember his first World Cup start. Will Tom Palmer. England have the penalty. Simpson to Thompson. Placement. Yep. Simpson again on his England debut. Happy did that well. Ashton gets away with it. Picked up by Croft, who is like a one man threshing machine at the Stop moment. The kind of machines that Phil gets so excited about when we drive by them in New Zealand. Here goes Banahan. Foden to Armitage, England threatening to end with a flourish, Foden away, oh, the ball was forward. Hats off to the ambition, though, hats off to the handling. And a rather insistent peep on the whistle from Jonathan Kaplan. No, we asked. For England to come out with some ambition and some intent, and they certainly have. Matt Banahan had a good impact on the game. Ben Foden again. Dylan Armitage had a great game. Slightly forward. It's the right call. Well, I've lost count of the number of Georgians who have gone down injured in the last 10 minutes of the match. Absolutely understandable after all the energy they've expended, not just today, but remember they played four days ago against Scotland. Catch a rather the latest to go down. Dylan Armitage can reflect, I think with some pride on his night's work. Touch. 90 seconds to go. England's scrum is getting better and better. Really putting the squeeze on this Georgian pack now. They've worked tirelessly all evening. England type five really putting the pressure on. I'm lucky not to win that ball back there. Chayeta rolls on the red side. Sam Haradzi launches the backs again. Force back towards his own castle. Scrum. And England are working very, very hard right at the end of this match. What are England going to take from this game, Phil Vickery? Well, I think they can take a lot more from today than, than last week. Georgia trying to push it too much, really. Matt Banahan coming up, keeping on his man, not getting carried away, driving them back. But they played well in parts England for sure tonight. They can analyse, they've scored some tries. And they've certainly come out with a lot more intent than last weekend. Into the red zone. Is there time for one more foray through the red defence? We will have another scrum. Oh, 
your head was out, so I have to reset. Well, whatever, it set England nicely up for their game with Romania next Saturday. Romania looking to be the weakest of the teams in this pool. Certainly on the evidence we've seen so far, they were kebabbed by Argentina this weekend. Nothing weak about Georgian rugby on this evidence. Touch. Simpson to begin what might be the last moment of this match. Simpson with it. Feeds it to Foden. Finds Ashton. Splashes down for a second time. And England end on a high. Tough, tough game, but half a dozen tries and the hardest of earned wins. Chris, do you want to talk to give the crowd? England forward some credit there. Good scrum. You happy? Joe Simpson's been very lively since he's arrived, making his test debut. Here tonight, picks the ball up well from the back of the scrum. Good scrum from England moving forward. Gives Joe Simpson time. Thought it was off. Great little offload off the floor. As we're watching a replay of the try, confirmation that Toby Flood's tough conversion didn't find its target, so the final score will be Ashton's score. He took a little bit of a blow to the wrist on the way in there, but sum it up for us, Phil Vickery. Much improved England performance this evening. Mightily impressed with the Georgians. They've got to take a lot of plaudits from this evening. They've played their part in this game. But England's World Cup campaign for me has started here tonight. Yep, an encouraging weekend for the home nations in New Zealand all round. Uh, testing week for England ends with a tick. Six tries, better. England 41, Georgia 10. And more live rugby still to come with France taking on Canada at 9.30. But ahead of that, plenty for Laurence, Francois and Sean to digest in that ultimately decent win for England.